So, so somebody put in my DM also that I should talk about long distance relationship. Whew. Okay. So long distance relationships are very tricky. There's nothing wrong with them. Are you kidding me? You can be, if you like, eh, let your boyfriend be in Kazakhstan and you are somewhere in Atlanta in the middle of nowhere. It can work. It's up to you. Okay. You can make a long distance relationship work. You travel, you see each other. You don't travel, you see each other. <laughs> okay. I'm being funny there. You can travel, see each other. You can talk on the phone. It's up to you what you want to do. Now, my only problem with long distance relationship is you have to be careful with that because you're not in the same city as this person. They're not in the same city as you. You're not seeing what they're doing. They can't see what you're doing. And then after a while, everyone gets mad. I'm talking because I've done it before and, and I, I, it's not advisable, but at this day and age with everything going on and Zoom has taken over virtual everything. I mean, that's going to be our life for the next two to three years when it comes to things like that. So most of us or most of you are going to spend time speaking to your significant other via zoom phone or any virtual platform and so my advice is yes there's nothing wrong with being in a long distance relationship but for how long how long can you you know how long can that go on for uh if you have a there's a couple they like each other one lives somewhere and the other one lives somewhere else and you feel like uh it's not going to work, then don't do it. But for some people, it's work. I've seen a girl who was in a long distance relationship and got married to the guy and then moved to where the guy was. I've also seen the one where they're in a long distance relationship. They got married and then they stayed where they are. Okay, well, it worked for them too. And everything's good. Actually, they have a baby now and they are fine. My thing with that is just be ready for there to be a disaster. So yes, it's good, but just be ready. And the disaster... You have to figure it out yourself. I, I can't really pinpoint what it is, but at some point, someone's going to be mad and say, oh, you're not here with me. And there's something going on outside the house and I'm by myself. And what are you doing over there? Or they'll call your phone and you don't pick up. And then another disaster, it's just going to be one thing after the other. So why do it anyway? So I'm not going to put it down and say it's negative or I'm not going to say it has its disadvantages or advantages. Every Both advantages so both disadvantages so everything is inside that long distance relationship. But... You have to decide if it's something you want to do. If you are okay with it, then be at peace and be okay with it. I can't even say, oh God, don't do that. That was back in like 1990. Now everyone is doing it because how else are you going to meet somebody? What if you live in like, I don't know, London and the boy you like is in the States. What are you going to do? Not date him because he's in the States? Well, someone else is going to date him. So my advice to you is take your time. Get to know this person you just don't know they might move to where you are you might move to where they are i've seen it before so nothing wrong with that my dear my darling that asked me to talk about it i think you are in a long distance relationship i'm not sure i don't have the deets on that but there's nothing wrong with it but just be ready because it has its advantages but i think the disadvantages outweigh the advantages but you can make those two or three advantages work to your benefit ask me how i'll show you i'm uh, i'm an expert in the case. I am an expert. Anyway, that's it on long distance relationships. If you have any other questions, send me a DM or otherwise I don't know. And sometimes it looks like I don't respond. I see them and then I talk about them. So I cannot wait to hear some more things that you want to talk about. And I'm going to be inviting a few of my friends to actually talk about um, a few of the topics that I've talked about before. And it's going to be a guy. Um... I just want to get his take because I feel like every time I put out these videos, he's always saying stuff. So I definitely want to get his take. And hopefully next week he and I can do a Zoom call um, and just talk about stuff. And I'll post it on my page and just from a guy's point of view. Because everyone's like, oh, Christine, it's always you. It's always you. So why don't you bring a guy in? And I will. And he is just like me. And you guys are going to love him. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to talk to you all. Don't forget to subscribe.